Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, we're going to talk about ESPN's Power Index. This is an important index. It gives you a real good uh, percentage odds of making the college football playoff as it stands right now. And we're going to talk about Vols position, TCU, all the rest of the teams. Let's get into this one. I like this index. I, I think it's pretty honest as far as uh, the percentage chances of each team. Granted, that's right now. You know, this will change after this weekend probably quite a bit. Uh, you look at Georgia, they're sitting at number one at 92% chance of getting into the playoff. I mean, they'd have to really mess up big time. They'd have to either lose to Mississippi State or Kentucky, and probably they'd have to lose twice. So they'd have to lose either to Mississippi State, Kentucky, or they would have to lose in the SEC championship game and lose at least two of those games not to get in. So they're, they're really about 100%. Ohio State, I don't know about this 87%. I guess they're assuming they are not going to lose any more games, which they probably won't because they're only going to be playing, what, Indiana and then Maryland, so that's not going to happen. It's the Michigan game that could creak them. So, I don't know, that seems kind of high to me. Michigan, the reason it's sitting so low is because their uh, strength of schedule is terrible. They All their non-conference games were pitiful. And that's really hurt them. That's why they're at 65%. But if they beat Ohio State, they'll be in. And here we're actually number four as far as the chances. We're at 58% of getting into the college football playoff. And I think that's primarily because um, we're playing uh, three teams that are not in the top 10 or even top 20, really. And that's um, Missouri, South Carolina, and then uh, Vanderbilt, of course. So, and Vandy's, you know, I hardly count that one. I think we'll beat them pretty easily, even though it's at uh, Vandy. We may even checkerboard their uh, stadium. <laughs> Missouri, Missouri can give you a good game. They gave Georgia a good game. But I feel like we'll jump on them uh, early and often in this uh, game coming up Saturday at noon at Neyland. Uh, I think the crowd's going to be absolutely berserk because we need to get back to rolling like we were doing before Georgia. And I feel good about South Carolina. I don't like the fact it's at night. And they will be doing their uh, 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 and their uh, 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 every five seconds over there because they, they love to do that. But, um, you know, we're just a better team than them, quite a bit better. So I think we'll handle them okay. You know, we'll see. They can show up from time to time. But, again, 58%. We're number four. Then they, they actually go to Clemson next. As you can see, they've dropped TCU all the way down to here, and we'll talk about them in a minute. The Tigers, you know, they're assuming they're going to end up winning the uh, SEC – the uh, ACC conference, which, you know, that's not that big a deal anymore. And they're only playing Louisville and Miami and then South Carolina. So, you know, their last three games are not that tough. So, you know, the odds of them winning all the way through shouldn't be a problem. And they're not going to have to play anybody tough in, the, in their conference championship game. But I think the reason they've got them up here is in case there's some losses. You know, if we lost, TCU lost, et cetera, they could maybe sneak in there. And they've got a big name. But they have played really crappy all year. They have not played well. And then the team that they don't think has a good chance of getting in, even though they're sitting at number four and they're squarely in it right now, is TCU. And that's because they're having to play back-to-back -back games against Texas and uh, Baylor. It's not TCU. They've, that's a misprint. And then they're uh, playing Iowa State at home. All three of those are good teams. And I think they might lose all three of those games, or at least two of them. I'll be shocked if they don't lose at least one. Because TCU is just not that good a team. They've barely scraped by all year. And they've been behind in the second half of almost every game against good teams. And they've managed to come back and win at the very end. So I don't see their odds being that high. Now look at Oregon at 15.4%. That's the one team that it's a little bit sneaky. But that loss of 49-3 to to Georgia really hurt them a lot. Had they not played them, they'd be sitting pretty right now, probably about third. But that's such a whooping. And if they go up square against us, I just don't see how they're going to put them ahead of us. When we played Georgia, what was it, 27-13, as opposed to a 46-point loss, and they played at a neutral site, and we played them at home. So I'm just not seeing that. And then they've got Alabama at 14%. You know, they could pop in there, big name. USC, I'm surprised they've only got them at 6.9%. I would have figured they'd been much higher than that. They must be playing some uh, decent teams. They're playing Colorado next, piece of cake, then UCLA, and then against Notre Dame. I guess they're figuring they'll probably lose one of those games. And then there's a little LSU at 5.8%. You know, that's assuming they end up winning out 
and then win the SEC championship game against Georgia, and then a lot of other pieces need to fall up uh, their way. So I guess they're saying LSU has a, has a chance. More like one out of a million. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! Yeah, kind of a one in a million. And I really do think TCU is going to lose. You know, right now they're sitting number four and we're sitting number five. And the reality is, TCU, you're in our spot. You're sitting in my spot. Oh, he, you've got to be kidding me. Leonard, she's in my spot. Yeah. That's right. Get out of our spot because that's where we're moving into after you get beat by Texas or Baylor or whoever you lose to. I just There's no way they're going to win three straight and then win a conference championship. I just don't see it. They're just not that good a team. They're an okay team, probably 25th in the country in reality. So it boils down to this. We've got to win out those next three games. If we do, our percentage odds should go up uh, considerably as we go through them because there's going to be a lot of chaos at the end of this year. There always is when it comes to college football playoff because, remember, we play all our tough games in the middle of the season, and most teams play their toughest games towards the end of the season. So a lot of these teams are going to be playing really difficult games. For example, Ohio State and Michigan or TCU playing Texas and Baylor, et cetera. So that's pretty normal, especially, you know, even Georgia's going to have to play some tough games at the very end because of the SEC championship game. Whereas we're going to be sitting on the sidelines that weekend, hopefully at 11-1 and and, and in really good shape. But it boils down to this. All three games that we're playing, these last three, we're going to have to go in there absolutely fired up, ready to go, and we cannot allow one of those games to slip through. It just cannot happen. We're going to have to be just like this. You shall not pass! That's right. Don't let any of them pass. Not a one of them. We need to whoop up on them, get some real good style points, and I think we'll be fine. But I thought that's pretty interesting, that power index. And we're in good shape. We're fourth. You know, we've got the fourth best chance, and I think that's realistic. I really do. I think we've had a great season so far. We've got one blemish, the number one team by far in the country at their home place. You know, it wasn't at Neyland. Had it been at Neyland, that game would have been very different. We might not have won, but it would have been very close. And if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's me know to continue to cover the balls. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. Only been doing this a few months, about four months now, and I could use some subscribers. I sure could. Anyway, I hope you did like the content. We'll see you next time on Sports Talk Jay.